So hello, guys. Uh, welcome, everyone uh, who is listening to us and uh, who is interested in um, Basketball 3 on 3. And uh, today, I have a huge guest. And if you follow Basketball 3 on 3, you for sure know who I'm talking about. This is Carlos Lasmanis, uh, right in front of me, or almost in front of me. Uh, hello, Carlos. How are you? Hello, hello. I'm good. I'm good. Just a little bit tired, like I said. Just came back from practice. <laughs> Ready to talk. <laughs> Ready to have some fun. <laughs> yeah, that's good. And to start with, uh, I wanted to uh, bring you a little bit back to your career uh, in basketball five on five, because uh, you played five on five in good teams uh, like uh, Rasta, like Lee Fire. You had like decent stats. Um, why did you decide to leave it all behind and uh, to uh, to play three on three instead of this? You know, um, there is a point uh, when. Uh... When we started, when we started 3x3, um, so 3x3 was like um, my side job. Uh, that was my side job, my hobby, my everything, you know, in summers. And uh, uh, then we grow up like a team. I grow up like a more like a professional 3x3 player. And then uh, there in my career was the point that I have to decide what to do now. Uh, I have to I have to choose five on five or 3x3. Of course, I want to do uh, I want to do both, but um, you know, in the real life, it's not that easy, you know, because uh, you must focus on one if you want to be successful. So um, uh, I decide uh, to I decide to go three x three because I feel myself better there, not like in five on five. In five on five, I'm like a classic, regular, normal player who can. Um, I'm I, I I feel like I'm there, nothing special, you know. I can do my. I can do my thing. I can uh, I can shoot a ball. I can penetrate. But uh, uh, in three on three, I feel way better. I, uh, my confidence is better there, uh, and, and that's why I decide. That's why I decide three x three. How far? Was of course, you? because of those. Uh, of course, of, of course, uh, the reason of everything was uh, was uh, that we won European Championship in uh, I think 2017, and then and, and a couple of tournaments we won. So, so that was the one of the uh, couple. Those couple points was the uh, game changer. How hard was this uh, decision uh, for you to quit basketball five and five uh, and to go to three on three? Uh, uh, I guess it, it it was it was hard, quite hard. Cause, yeah, yeah. Because I played uh, that season. I played in Yurmala, and um, we make a playoffs. We make a playoffs uh, in that season, and the thing was kind of the thing was kind of heavy because uh, uh, so um, I was one of the I was one of the key players. I want to say I was one of the key players for Team Yurmala, and uh, the budget was how it was, and then 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 uh, that was really close to deadline. Deadline means uh, you can't add any more players you know, in your roster. Because uh, playoff starts and and and, and um, you know teams are ready to play in playoffs, and that was the situation when I had to decide. Because my team said, uh, "Okay, Carlos, you have to now. You have to decide because uh, we must prefer uh, we must prefer for Doha uh, the Doha uh, World Tour, and uh, there was yeah, also United League tournaments, and uh, as I remember, as I remember, I was kind of. I was kind of, I was balancing on the injury line, you know, so my team said, okay, Carlos, now you have to take a rest a little bit and prepare for, uh, for three X three. And I know how hard it is, but, uh, you must, uh, you, you must choose five on five or three X three because, uh, there was a deadline, like, uh, still there was a week left for the deadline. So I, I decided, I decided to go there to three X three, but, um, it, that was kind of, that, that was kind of bad move for me. Because I played whole season in five on five team uh, for Yurmala, and we got a great wins. So we got a kind of great, kind of okay season. And then, and then, um, you know, that's that that's life. <laughs> sometimes you have to. Sometimes you have to decide. And yeah. I decide three x three. So mm -hmm. I really want to apologize everyone who I hurt in that moment. But you know, it is what it is. Sometimes. Yeah, but you accomplish good things here. Did you ever regret uh, that moment when you decided to uh, to play three on three? Uh, so we won. We won our first. We won our first Masters there 
uh, we won Doha, and uh, that's why I can't complain. Can't complain about nothing because we won and the decision was right. Because uh, and I won, I got MVP title in the Doha. So, so I think I did everything uh, right for me and myself. Yes. Um, this summer there's going to be uh, Olympic Games uh, and hopefully basketball three. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. Let's let's hope. Uh, and there's going to be basketball three and three on there. Um, what are your expectations about this? Uh, about this tournament? About qualification? Uh, about everything? Uh, of course, uh, Olympics means me a lot. I think. Um... That's a huge. That's a huge thing in a, like that's every every professional sports uh, who doing sports every professional dream you know and uh, everyone wants to go there. Of course, it's a huge tournament. Uh, it's a huge goal for everyone, but um, uh, but you have to be focused and humble for every tournament, you know. So um, so we prefer like we prefer on Olympics. We same preparation. We do uh, even for um, United League. I really want, like, uh, in my heart, I really want. Of, co of course, I really want to go there to Olympics. That's my one of the main goals there. But, uh, but, but, but we have to be focused on every tournament. So this season gonna be huge for us, and I hope we're gonna make it. Yeah, yeah, I hope it too. Um, Latvia in uh, basketball three three um, is one of the strongest countries in the world, like better than Lithuania, Croatia, and all the other European countries that we uh, that we used to um, consider Thank you. as favorites. Yeah, you're one of the reasons for it. Well, uh, do you have an explanation uh, why Latvia here is better than, uh, for example, Latvia in basketball five and five? Uh, I want to say because we have a I, we have a really good history about it. Um, we got players who played before. Well, uh, we go we got those uh, local tournaments, the uh, ghetto basket, and um, you know, so uh, we we didn't have a pressure for nothing before before everything start, and we just uh, all, all of us do it like for fun, and that was hobby. For us and then and, and we did their great so i think that was the that that is the main reason uh because we don't play with pressure we have a really huge really good history about this sport okay it's a little bit different because we played uh without uh, referees and nothing but uh, i think it uh, uh it gives you a toughness that gives you a toughness and yeah. so that that's why we are i think that's why we are where we are where we're where we at in the moment but um still we have the we, we have a lot of work to do we have to work on our uh, our, our future uh about other players who want to grow and we'll see how it goes but in this yeah. moment yeah i think because that's a new sport kind of new sport and there is a lot of five on five players who like can decide what to do like 3x3 or 5 on 5 so cuz we decide i think that's the other thing why we're, why we're right now at the moment yeah but what we'll is see the how it goes cuz this sport is growing really fast and uh, i hope we're going to stay uh stay in the same level as yeah, long hopefully. as we can Hopefully, one of the reasons I asked you about this uh, is um, is because of the recent upset of uh, Latvian national team in basketball five and five. Did you watch that game? Those games? I watched the games. I watched the games. I talked to players, and of course, uh, that was really tough. That was really tough that they didn't make a Europe uh, European chamber uh, European championship. Uh, but 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 you know that's that that's life. That's sports. You no. Know? That's why it is that interesting. Uh, of course, we we were favorites uh, of the tournament on the disqualification. We must we must won the Bulgaria, but uh, sometimes it happens, you know, and you never know, because I know the players wanted to win and nobody play uh, like uh, nobody play like they want to lose. But uh, sometimes it happens, and you can't blame anyone. Yeah. Uh, do you think you could have helped your, your team if you played five and five? <laughs> of course, I would try, but uh, I don't know. Uh, you know those players played together for a long time. I think the chemistry for them is better. 
but uh, of course I I, 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 I will try I will try but I don't know how it, how it goes then yeah as a player who tried both three on three and five on five um, what do you think is the main difference between these uh, two sports I mean except obvious like rules like uh, toughness and everything but, um, what is the difference okay three x three is like more uh, for is like um how can i say like um it's like a fourth quarter in five on five basketball oh. game you know so you have only 10 minutes you have only 10 minutes so i just want to say it's like a sprint uh win or lose you know for the in, in five on five basketball you can lose first half minus 20 and won the game uh won the game and end, end of the last like second but uh but 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 three x three is it's kind of quicker it's kind of quick, quicker because things can change change you more and then and, and, uh, i don't know <laughs> but 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 yeah. sports is i think there is the same uh the same kind of the same rules you know the same okay okay ball balls change the size of ball is changing but nothing else um the still uh you know attitude of the game doesn't matter where you play five on five or three x three you know how you respect the game, how you respect the ball, and uh, and then how you take care of the game. So, uh, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. So, 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 there is kind of there is a lot of differences, but uh, but 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 the attitude. I think the attitude is the main thing. It doesn't matter where you play. Yeah, you know, I think you prepared for this question because uh, the answer is very good. It's very good. Um, I heard that you're traveling around Latvia. Uh, I mean, you and your team uh, to look for some guys who wants to play three on three, and you're trying to build some kind of academy. Am I right? Uh, yeah, we uh, we have some plans. We have some plans. We want uh, we want to travel around the little cities, the smaller cities, and uh, to to do population there. Uh, for 3x3 because you know on those small cities there is no a lot of people living there and they can make a five on five team for example for the youth so that's why we want maybe maybe go there and show them what is 3x3 and uh, show how interesting it is and and teach them how to love the sport and we'll see how it goes so you, you, you have we, a... we are just waiting for the right moment you know covid and everything is a big trouble for us right now Yeah, so um, you have big plans for this academy. Yes. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's great. Um, um, I want to talk about uh, United Europe League, uh, for sure. Uh, you, you could literally see the tournament, uh, how it's growing from year to year. Uh, and what are your expectations uh, going into your third season in the tournament? Actually, fourth season because uh, fourth. I was fourth season, yeah, because I was with a different team. Uh, there, uh, the the first year I went there was uh, in the same shopping mall, Raduga, and uh, the tournament wasn't that professional like it is now. Uh, so I see a big difference, big changes, and uh, that that is amazing. Alexander is doing a big like a a lot to go and then and, and, and I think he's doing really well if you if you could compare United League uh, to some other tournaments what could it be I mean compare in uh, uh, in like media yeah, uh, media wise yeah it's like uh, like a like a really like a really good uh, like a really good challenger really close to world really close to world tour yeah that's good like really close to masters because there is a lot of strong teams and uh, and why why also there is really nice and that's a really good tournament yeah uh you guys won the world tour last year uh do you feel any sort of pressure ahead of uh uh ahead of this season and uh not yet actually not actually not yet not yet but uh probably when we will go there pressure will grow because you know everyone wants to everyone wa everyone wants to play uh, against the first first team you know everyone wants to play with um, 120 percent 
So of course, of course, pressure will be way more than it is now, but uh, or last year. But uh, but it's okay because because um, um, I think we will grow like a we will grow like a team to feel that pressure, and it will help for Olympic uh, Olympic uh, qualifier tournament. So yeah, that uh, that is really good. And everyone is playing. The pressure the pressure is not a bad thing. Pressure is not a bad thing. So you like pressure. Of course. Do you think you will have a lot of pressure uh, in uh, Saint Petersburg? Uh, I don't know. I hope not. I, 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 you know, I think everyone, like I said, like everyone will try to win us and to play against us for hundred and uh, hundred and twenty percent or more. But uh, the main thing is don't be stupid and don't get any injuries under that pressure. So, uh, so otherwise, uh, I don't know what to say. Yeah, of course we will feel the pressure, but I think it's not gonna be that bad. Who do you think uh, we can handle? We can. I like. I like. I want to say we can handle it. Yeah. Um, who do you see as the biggest rivals in Saint Petersburg in the United League? Biggest rivals. Yeah. What do you mean with that? Like uh, the the toughest team or what? The, the, the toughest team, yeah, yeah. The toughest team that can uh, uh, beat you. Everyone, everyone, because like I said, this uh, this game, this sports, this tournament grow really fast, and every team who played in this tournament this year gonna be uh, can 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 be the champion. So. I, I saw a lot of Russian teams are really great, and then the Novi Sad, and uh, and uh, there will be a lot of great teams. So we can we have to focus on every game, uh, Lithuanians as well. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see, who's gonna be better. Only we can see only in the, on the court. Yeah. I want to say I want to say we uh, I, I want to say that we. We're gonna win everything, but um, but but uh, there is a there is a lot of lot of work to do. Yeah, I have uh, a few qu quick uh, questions. Uh, your most memorable game? What is it? Mm, European Championship, when we won uh, Serbians in semifinals, and I made I made this I made the I made the the last shot. That was that was that was the game something winner. special for us. Game winner because. That was how it started. Yeah, and uh, of course, this year when we won, when we did come back against uh, Team Liman, <laughs> and uh, we won the Doha Masters, so that also was really tasty. Yeah, um, you top three favorite players, if you have. Uh, now, Riz Miazis <laughs> from my team. Uh, yeah, of course, Dusan Bullet. Yeah. Because because uh, uh, I, I when I was young I looked how he how he did how he did well and and how he teach them a good lesson how he teach a good lessons for every other players and uh, and then then who else who else who else ah uh, Gash I really like and Simon Finchger I like a lot of players I like a lot of players and I I try to take a best from them. Uh, and the last question: uh, What is your dream right now? To win uh, Olympics. Right now. I expected you know, this. To, I expected to get, this. A gold, to, get, to get a gold, to get a gold medal there. Yeah, I think we had a. But uh, but uh, actually, my dream is, if I, I if I think a little bit deeper, my my, my dream is to win as mo as uh, as much tournaments as we can. Yeah, that's so, a good answer. Good I answer. Hope dreams, I hope I hope dreams come true. <laughs> yeah. So um, I think we had a, a good talk. Thank you again for for joining me. Uh, and uh, hopefully uh, your dream will come true and you will have success uh, in front of uh, Saint Petersburg. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. See you. See you there. See you there. Rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao.